Here are the latest additions to the aircraft collection. This is a 132nd scale F4E early Vietnam version. It's in the uh, Southeast Asia paint scheme. It's correct loadout for the time frame. Needs an air crew. The kit didn't come with an air crew. Plus the ejection seats were not so great. So I have some on order, probably from uh, Edward. Those are uh, the acrylic stands that I made just from uh, acrylic rod for the two big phantoms because they're a little bit heavier, a little bit too heavy to use uh, like I did on the other stands going through the uh, exhaust nozzles. So I went with something a bit sturdier. This kit here is uh, the Academy but it, uh, they've reboxed the Ravel 1994 version. Um, so there's some inaccuracies, but some I can, you know, mostly I can live with. Overall, it looks pretty good. Next up is a very early F4C model. Actually, this one is uh, in the version of January 2nd, 1967, uh, as flown by Colonel Robert Robin Olds um, during the Bolo missions. You should know about the Bolo missions in Vietnam Air War. If not, I need to Google it. But the, uh, the Tamaya kit is a much better... Uh, it's a much better kit. Those uh, those intakes are are aftermarket from GT resin. A little bit of uh, reconstruction to install those, but well worth it. Anyway, a couple new additions, two big phantoms. I normally don't build in 32nd scale, but uh, these two will be part of my Vietnam Phantom um, series. I'm gonna be doing a total of four. Uh, I'll be doing a, a, a Navy J version, which was flown by Randall Cunningham uh, and then I'll be doing another uh, another Air Force version uh, D model, flown uh, flown by R Steve Ritchie. So we'll cover a few of the Mig the Mig Aces from Vietnam, which is by the way that is Steve Ritchie with my parents. I think this was back in '72. So yeah, that has a little special special place to do Steve Ritchie's plane. So, uh, so anyway, just a small update. When I get the, uh, the others finished and I get them in the, uh, the Vietnam MIG Hunter display, which is my goal, I will uh, post another update. I, I knocked these out in about a month doesn't take me long to uh, to put these out, and they're show quality. They're professionally done, but they will stay in my collection. That's it for now.
and the rest of the uh, the older kits that I did. Final countdown scenario. Just a random uh, F-18E because you have to have one in your collection. Then I'm really loving my uh, F-14D. It's one of the last aircraft I worked on when I was in the Air Force working transient. Loved it when the Tomcats came through. All right, that's it.